checked today it's at 10 30 and it's like 9 40 right now so i should definitely leave to catch the bus soon so i'm gonna rush this but yeah i have one lecture today it's an elective and i'm gonna quickly change and head off and come back and hopefully get some writing done later okay so really quickly before i go i wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video which is magic mind i have been using their productivity energy shots for months and i absolutely love them so much they're basically energy shots they have so many good ingredients in them they have amazing benefits and they are now ingrained into my morning routine i seriously love taking this before i have a productive day ahead of me or what i'm hoping to be a productive day because i feel such a good boost in energy even on days where i don't have it with coffee so you can have this alongside your coffee you can have it in place of your coffee whatever works for you but the benefits of these are numerous without the side effects that coffee usually gives you like jitters and an upset stomach and things like that so magic mind sent me over their new formula it's like subtly sweet and really refreshing i highly recommend that if you get these you keep them in the fridge because i love how refreshing they are once they're out of the fridge so i'm gonna be adding these into my morning routine all throughout this week as i go to school like i usually do and if you want to get your hands on magic mind and try it for yourself or if you're someone who's already tried it because i know some of you have and you want to refresh your supply you can use my code for a discount and you can also click the link in my description box to to purchase it anyway let's get on with the morning routine o'clock and I'm done with classes for the day but yeah I after class I stopped by the student center to pick up my transfer student welcome box let's not talk about the fact that it's like the end of February and I'm just picking this up literally I, I keep telling myself okay tomorrow I'll go pick it up tomorrow and I just never do so today I finally did it after my class so I'm gonna open this with you guys but first I quickly wanted to touch upon why I'm making this video and that's because I've gotten I think that one of the most popular questions I've gotten is how do I find motivation to write while I'm in school and and I think the best way to answer that is through showing you because it's not a, a set way honestly this isn't a this is how you should balance writing in school video this is a how I balance writing in school video because everyone's gonna have a different way to do it anyway okay let's open the first part of this oh cute that fell feeling very welcome we love a little beanie and then wait okay like this is like a banner but like where do people put these i don't know but it's cute so maybe i'll put it somewhere we'll see we got this little thing oh my gosh is it like cards or something <gasps> no way it is cards i love cards so much wait i'm so happy anyway yeah so i'm used to balancing writing during school because i've been doing it basically since i started university like since 2020 but it's a little different now because you're balancing like writing for school with like leisurely writing and so sometimes people can feel burnt out after all the writing they have to do for school like essays and such like things like that but basically i just my method is just to write whenever i have time and i can like show like the different ways that i do that what else do we have in here <gasps> no way you guys i bought that lanyard at the bookstore and this literally has one this is why i should have gotten this as soon as i like came here but i i didn't so and i actually like this one more i think like i like the black i guess we could just switch it up whenever we want but i do really like this basically my schedule for the rest of the day is i have a midterm tomorrow for english one of my english classes and it's a take-home midterm but it's kind of going to be like an essay slash reflection slash dissection of the material we've read so far in this class and the major themes that are in each of these reading materials so while it's not really something to study for i do want to look back over the notes that i took for all of the readings we did so that i'm really aware of each of the titles because we did we, we read a lot in this class so i want to make sure i remember every Thing because I'm not going to be like opening things up during my midterm and my midterm's at 11:30 tomorrow morning in place of class time and I'm not a fast writer so but I have until the end of the day to do it so that doesn't really matter actually which is great because I like that my teacher like he wants to give us time to write and then I also have another lecture another like elective lecture tomorrow after my midterm so I'm gonna do the pre work for that but I'm don't I don't think there's a lot so it's basically just midterm studying tonight and then writing in between four more things in here oh my god it's a frisbee <laughs> a tea lover 
who doesn't love a good pen? It's time to start studying for my midterm. But first, coffee, of course. I'm feeling pretty energetic today. I did have a Magic Mind productivity shot in the morning, but those can be taken alongside coffee, which is great because I do still just love coffee. So I think I'm gonna use one of my Nespresso pods. I still have these. I've been like trying to save them. <laughs> I wanna go for an espresso and I think this is my last one. Oh, is that decaffeinated? Oh, it's double, huh? Okay, we don't really want a double, but you know what, we're gonna do a double. So this one is the pod of choice for today. acquired and I'm about to get started. First, I wanted to set a goal for my writing because I feel like it's good to set writing goals, to have something to aim for, to push towards, and like the saying goes, you shoot for the moon, you miss, you land amongst the stars. So even if I'm not able to do this writing goal, at least it will allow me to do more than I would have had I not set the goal, if that makes sense. So if you saw my last video, you'll know my attack plan for draft four, so I definitely recommend watching that. But a quick little recap for those of you who haven't seen it or who are curious. Basically, since this is a draft four, I'm at the stage of my novel where I'm not rewriting it sentence by sentence. I'm literally using my beta reader feedback and critique and my newly refreshed outline based off of that beta reader feedback critique to make the changes that I need for this draft. And so chapter by chapter, I'm going through and implementing the changes that I need to implement. So there is writing for like the new scenes and chapters and characters that I'm adding. But besides that, it's basically just editing, like nitpicking the chapter, making sure every sentence is crafted the best that it can be and that every scene is structured well, every chapter is giving what it's supposed to give. I'm just basically picking apart the chapter and making it the best that I can make it by doing multiple passes through it. So yeah, if you saw my last video, you'll see that for chapter one and two, I did multiple passes and I'm using revision mode on Scrivener, so my text is in red for everything that I'm adding. But where I last left off, I was on chapter three, which is a new chapter slash scene that I'm adding into this draft based off of some feedback that the beta reader gave me, one of my beta readers gave me. And so I just wrote the, the first rough bare bone of that scene slash chapter. So now I'm gonna do multiple passes over it to make sure it is polished because it has to be at the same level as the rest of the book is, which has had multiple revisions. So today is just chapter three. I'm really not trying to rush through my writing. I feel like at this stage, it needs all the time and effort that I can give it. So I'm really not trying to rush the chapter days seems like a doable goal for me and that would put me at finishing this draft before the end of March. So yeah, if I do more, great. I'm gonna aim for not doing less. So if I do more than that, that's great. But today's goal is chapter three, just doing a bunch of passes over it until it is exactly how I want it or the best that I can take it. And then if I have time for chapter four, we could start chapter four, but chapter four will be tomorrow's goal, if not. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I like to make to-do lists every single day on my iPad, I just use my notes. Um, I have my planner as well, which I use this to organize, which is my Racon planner. And then this is like my, to is what I use for my to-do list for the day. So. Basically Basically, this is everything I have to do today. I can cross the lecture off because I went to it and crossing things off is my favorite part. And so this is everything that I have to get through. Plus I do have to edit one of the writing vlogs that I filmed the past few days. So that's something else I have to work on. Oh, I also picked up my transfer kit finally or welcome box, whatever. And then on top of my daily to-do list, which are the priority, obviously, I also have my ongoing projects and assignments and essays and things like that that I have to do that I have a list of down here so that I can do them when I have time and I do want to make writing part of my priority so I put it on my to-do list but I do want to make one thing clear and that's that in this balance of finding time to write while I'm doing schoolwork I want to make it clear that I prioritize my writing but school is my main priority because I would never want my writing to impact my school which is really really important to me and it's doable to do both I've done it so far for like two almost three years but I do want to emphasize that my school work takes higher priority over writing but I'm still making sure or trying to squeeze writing in it's not always easy especially for those who have busier schedules or things like that so yeah just wanted to point that out
morning guys it is thursday i know literally it's a couple days later but tuesday and wednesday i was super busy and literally i was just focusing on schoolwork so i didn't vlog i didn't write those two days and that's just the reality of it some days school literally just takes over the entire day which is okay because like i said i do put my main priority on my schoolwork but today's Thursday and I really really want to get back to my writing today. I finished chapter three on Monday and today is focus today's focus and goal is gonna be chapter four. But I have two lectures today. I have my English class and then my art history elective later and I will take you guys along with me to both and we're gonna get some writing at some point in the day. I am back from my first lecture. It was really, really good. I love that English class. It's on native literatures, if anyone's curious, and I absolutely love the conversations we have in class. They're amazing. And our teacher really challenges us to open up and to think critically about the pieces that we're reading, and it's just great. So that class was good. We went over the midterm during the class and things like that. And my next class is art history, which is an elective that I have to take. But what I like to do is before every lecture, I do pre-lecture work the day before the lecture, which is so, so helpful it just means going over what we're going to be studying in class the day before and i can do that by looking at the syllabus and seeing what topics we're going to cover what readings things like that so i just do the work the day before for each class that way when i show up to the lecture i already know what we're learning and i'm already prepared to have discussions and conversations in class and to ask my teacher questions if i don't get anything so i did all my pre-lecture work for the two classes i have today yesterday so i don't have anything to do before my art history class today so i have these two hours or so right now to write before I go to my next lecture which is amazing so I finished chapter three in my novel that took me a long time I'm not gonna lie because it's all cohesive and they all tie together so adding this new part I don't want it to seem like shoving a puzzle piece into an already like complete puzzle you know what I'm saying like I have to make it fit with everything else so it took me a while to go over that and do multiple passes and there's an, a, not a new character but a character who's getting more screen time so I had to flesh out his character more so that I knew more about his personality and his quirks and what he would say and what he brings to this book etc so that took me a while so i'm gonna work on chapter four now and this chapter also has things that i need to change based off beta reader feedback so i don't know how long it's gonna take we'll see but i have two hours now I'm also gonna eat lunch within these two hours and then we're heading off to my next class. You guys, chapter four is a chunky chapter. It's like 3,400 words. So I'm almost done the first pass. Not done yet though, but I'm gonna eat my lunch, which is just yogurt and granola and honey. My stomach has been hurting for the past few days. So I really cannot bring myself to eat, to be honest, but I'm going to eat anyway because I have a lecture and I will fall asleep in this lecture if I do not eat something because the lights are off <laughs> always for this lecture and it's like super dark. And the teacher has a voice where it's like she could be like the audiobook narrator for like bedtime stories in the nicest way possible like i feel so like zen in that class that i literally like sometimes i start to doze so my tip if you guys are ever in classes like that is to eat something with protein beforehand because that like actually keeps me awake i guess
from the library. I finished chapter 5 which is amazing and I got some other schoolwork done and my weekend officially starts now. I'm about to go hang out with my friends and so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me for a school slash writing week in my life. I didn't get a ton of writing done this week but I did write and I'm very happy about that and I did make progress so I'm proud and I will continue to write hopefully during the weekend and next week and the week after that and that and that until I am done draft four and I will continue to send vlogs your way but if you enjoyed this it'd mean so much to me if you could give it a thumbs up if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing and joining our little writing family and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye Everybody's